Okay then, so here's badly video number two. Um, yeah, this is the bag I take on the train with me when I go and visit my fiance. Um, it's actually a kid's lunch satchel, and it's got a thermal lining in it, which I'm actually thinking of taking out because it's sort of falling to pieces anyway. Um, and it's sort of taken up extra space in my bag that I can use because it's quite crammed. Now then, item number one, tiny case. And it just has a little set of sort of border stamps. They don't stick on very well. And a little cute cat stamp and a little speech bubble. Sometimes I swap these out because I do have some more little blocks, so you know, I rotate what goes in here. And I've got a black pigment ink and a purple ink that came with the cat and the speech bubble stamp. That just means I can. Add some little stamps to my pages, you know. If I want to, and I can eat the edges. And the next thing, I must be careful because I usually have pencil shavings in here. <laughs> what have we got? Ruler, spatula, a water, uh, what do you call these? Water brush, you know, it's got water in the handle. It's a brush. Um, a plain pen paintbrush. Um, that spear Lyra green that came in the pen box. I need to... I'm cutting off my head still. <laughs> I need to have a look. <coughs> um, see if I can get a replacement for the colour that should have been in there. I'll just see if I can... No, that's worse. <laughs> mm. that? Oh, that's better. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Because I got two of that one, so I stick that one in there. Pencils that need sharpening. A fine liner pen. Um some string. I don't know when you might need a bit of string. An eraser. And then I have my um, We Are Memory Keepers tool. I don't know if you've seen these. I got this off eBay. You just pop that on the handle and then it's got like both stitching. And I've got all the different heads in here that I got with it. One of them's open so there's ink everywhere. That one. And that one, and that one, and a sharpener, and pencil sharpening, and then this, that, that's that, just sort of detaily bit, really, and put that in there, and then I have a little folder, that have all sorts of paper bin, sort of background things. We've got some vellum, a bit more vellum, Just some line paper, napkins, tons and tons of napkins. I love napkins. Some newspaper text That's from an old someone's school workbook. I bought a kit from somewhere in Nottingham called Hopkins. <coughs> and it's full of old bits of papers and things that someone had obviously found in someone's house. Some brown paper. A bit of sort of sort of that cartridge paper that's been stamped. More paper. Tissue paper. 
yeah, so all sorts of backing papers and things like that for using in the background. Then I have a second folder which I put things like this in. I'll get rid of this. And um, this is got a little fabric butterfly, sequin waist, which I love, got loads of that. Some little speech bubbles that I've die cut. Tags that I've die cut and things like that. These little playing cards that I bought from works. And I have all sorts of these flowers and butterflies, fabric ones, because they're from the pound shop. More tags in there, some butterflies, some buttons that I've die cut and drop on the floor. Pick that up. <laughs> And then I have this. Um, this came on my um, body spray set that my mum bought me for Christmas. It's like um, little round tags, and they were all together on the string. And I've turned it into sort of a mini journal. Let's see, I think that's the first piece. And I just do this on the train if I haven't got my big journal or if I don't fancy working in the big journal. Oh, I'm using some of the There is a little gorgeous down there. I don't know if you picked that up. Just about. Um, butterfly. And then I started this one but not, not finished it. And then obviously there is bits on the back that I haven't done yet. So that's in there for quick little projects to do on the train. And then I have these plastic shot glasses that you get in the pound shop just in case I need any where to put some water or anything like that. And oh, this is like a little handbag organizer, and I use it in here. <clears throat> I've got some little brads in here, little flower ones and some colourful ones, little bits and pieces. I have some plasters just in case, a little art palette. Uh, that's all in that side, that's in this side. Oh. Then I've got these came with the little palette little acrylic tubes and colours and then I can mix any colour I like and then inside here <coughs> I knew I had a silver <laughs> silver paint gesso a little tub of gesso I'll put these on the table here um a sponge Probably need a new sponge because that's not a whole. Um, fabric tape. This is really nice. It's got like a backing on it so it doesn't stick. I might have to put a pin in that actually to keep it all together. Okay, you just peel the backing off. That's nice bit of fabric. Washi tape. I have quite a bit of washi tape in here. Washi tape. That's deco tape, which is shiny stuff. Scissors, of course. A little pack of baby wipes. Very handy. More tape. Tons and tons of tape. 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 <laughs> tape. More tape. More tape. I think that's it for the tape. <laughs> uh, a little part of this is sort of like it's the uh, Minecraft Studios Everyday Blue. It's like a it's almost like a PVA. This is one of those 
um, you, you get squash in it and you might squirt it into your drink. I've got water in there. A uh, lollipop stick. Just in here. Uh, rubber band. Pipette. Uh, I need to go through this and get rid of some rubbish actually. <laughs> uh, I think that's it on that side. Uh, I have a. Oh, that one's dried up, I think. But glue. Put another one in there. And um, another pencil, which hasn't been sharpened yet. Um, another fine liner. A purple fine liner. Another pencil and a paintbrush. And then I have my watercolour pencils which are really nice to use on the go because they're really easy Put all the pencil in there yeah, another pencil lots of pencils apparently and I do have one of these silica gel things in with my watercolour pencils just because I don't want the ends to get all mushy so that should hopefully keep them dry so that is oh no it's not it mm -hmm. I have a little tub of art guard and um, that is gel medium but it's, it's pretty dried up now I think I need to get a new tub of that um, a little piece of paper some rubbish <laughs> another elastic band I don't know why I've got two and I've got some more silica gel packets in the bottom of the bag itself and that's it that's everything that I have in there uh, yeah sometimes I will just take this um, and sometimes I will go through and add more pieces of paper um, if I have a specific project in mind then obviously I'll take stuff to do that um, but yeah this is just what I have thrown together just for a bit and bobbing on the train um, yeah and that seems to be sufficient for me and I'll probably take a couple of these out and swap them for other ones just to keep it fresh you know but yeah that is basically everything I take with me when I go travelling I think that's pretty much all I need really like, like I say unless I'm doing a specific project I might add to it but yeah so I hope you enjoyed that being no in my bag <laughs> um, and I hope it maybe gave you some ideas of what you can take with you if you're going away somewhere um, that's pretty much all you're going to need a bit of paper some embellishments a few stamps um, yeah maybe just think about the things that you use a lot in your art journal anyway and then, like I say, maybe you just get some little jars to put to transfer some of the stuff you need into, and then you don't have to take the whole big jar. Big jar. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's it, yeah. That's everything. And again, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.